So for those of you who don't know my name, my name is Julia, I'm the director of Impact Safety and also an instructor of this class. Um, Impact has been in Columbus for 29 years. We've taught thousands and thousands of people, women and children, college students, tweens, teens, kids. And we have programs for just about every population in the city. Uh, and we're always developing new ones as we redefine <coughs> more impact. So what we teach is really the bottom line. We teach the founder center how to know where you end and somebody else's starts, and how to enforce that boundary when it's necessary. So we teach everything from what to do if somebody looks at the end of the street to what to do if you're sexually assaulted. And all of these things we teach. So that's a lot of stuff to learn. And um, one of the joys about this class is we get to teach almost all of those, all, almost at least every kind of choice that people can bring up, they have an answer for, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I forget what I want to say. I think that's it, what I want to say. Um, oh, I know. You will see, what you will see, what you will see today is not what you saw on the first day, what we saw on the first day. We'll show you that in a minute. But what you will see is women committed to their own defense in whatever way that means. We also do a lot of, we try to do a lot of grounding and centering um, as we're working through our situation. Part of that is because when and if we are assaulted or yelled at or in an altercation, our adrenaline heats up. We don't make as many good choices when we're adrenalized. We are really reacting, not responding. So what we really work on is how we can respond from a place of choice. And that's really like one of the big takeaways. Yes, everybody learns how to fight physically. They learn some verbal skills, how to handle altercations, how to do de-escalation. They also kind of find their self and their center in situations where it sometimes goes away. Mine does. Great. I um, cannot do this class by myself. And one of the beauties about the impact system is that we do work in a team. And we have lots of people on our team. And today, we're going to just talk about one of the members of the team. And that would be you. Hi, right, thanks for coming. I see a couple new faces, I see a couple familiar faces. Uh, my name is Dave, and I am uh, the other half of the Impact instructors for this session. Um, I've been with Impact for about eight years, um, but I am a lifetime martial artist and physical trainer. I've been in combat sports for almost my entire life. Over 20 years, I've been all over the world collecting many belts and certifications. and. Uh, when I came to this program, when I first saw it, I thought, came in thinking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help them out. I have so much experience. I'm so good at this. I'm going to teach them a lesson. And I came to a graduation just like this one, and I watched it. And what I witnessed, uh, it just blew my mind. I learned that self-defense has nothing to do with the capability to hurt other people, to break boards or to strike back. It's about keeping yourself from harm. And that means inside and out, emotionally, physically, verbally. All that is a, as a package and this program teaches that unlike any other program that I've ever uh, been involved in in the entire world um, you might notice that I'm dressed differently from Julie this is the impact safety suit this is a suit designed specifically for this program to allow us to practice techniques in the most real possible scenarios while still keeping both the instructor and the student safe. It's designed by an automotive engineer and fitted specifically to me. You'll notice there's, there's no specific markings on it or anything like that. It's nondescript. 
not only does it protect uh, fiscal well-being, but it allows us to create scenarios, more realistic scenarios that the student can um, project their reality onto. Uh, you'll notice that, again, no marks or anything like that. So when the helmet is off, this is Dave, this is Impact Instructor. The helmet, with the helmet on, the suit could be anyone. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, member or someone that you work with. Uh, it could be a total stranger, and their intentions could vary anywhere from an intense conversation to a sexual assault. Um, like we said, it, it's uh, designed also specifically so that students can practice everything in full force. We don't hold back. Everything you see is very real and done in the realest possible scenarios. Would you like to see how it works? Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, yes, I would like to show how it works. <laughs> So this is what we call a day one scenario. This is the first technique we taught and, and the level of intensity that was their number uh, number one fight. It's the last time you're gonna see anything that looks quite like this today. You ready? Yeah, and this was Friday night. We're at Sunday. Friday afternoon, so this is the <laughs> first of three days of training. Sometimes it's shocking to me, even after all these years. So we're going to bring them in in a minute, and you have a very important job to add to this uh, ceremony, celebration, graduation, and that is to add your voices to their scenarios. We are a very small and intimate group. We are a small and intimate group, but we have loud voices. So when the woman on the mat starts to kick or elbow or do anything, we want you to yell, go, fight, quit, no, go, fight, elbow, knee, whatever, you yell, just yell something. Because um, that encouragement increases the drone and gives them some more practice. Because we're all about the practice. Okay. Practice is what we do, a lot of repetition, because we work with procedural memory, which is getting our body to know what to do without us having to consciously think about it. We, most of us, in situations like that, we don't have time to just go to our Zen moment and go, okay, wait a minute, hang on, I got something. To, what do I do? We respond quickly. So we practice being able to ground, respond quickly, give us something. We also teach to a technical knockout. What that means is that when you see Dave looking like a little dead bug, the fight is over. If that isn't happening, you don't see that, it's not over and we don't stop. Why? Not because we wanna kill anybody, but until they are technically not knocked out, we're still at risk. They can get back up, they can call their friends, they can do anything. So we want to make sure that before we leave the area, this person is no longer a threat. And yes, running is great, calling for help is great, all of those things everybody knows how to do. So we don't teach running, we do talk about calling for help. But these are situations where what if you can't run? What if you have no place to go? What if this is what's happening right now in front of you with this person that you know? So we know that 80% of the assaults against women are people that they know. 70% of those happen before somebody's 21. So we also want to prevent 
future. At the same time, if we have trauma, which actually we all have it now because we went through COVID, okay, like COVID is to be traumatized, um, that we get to work through that and get to <coughs> move a little bit down our path in that year. Okay, that's another reason um, some people take the class, some people take the class because they want to learn how to physically defend themselves, they're going to be camping by themselves, they still want other people to know. Um, so through the years, that is a good way to process some emotion and get to some other sides of things. And some of us don't know why we took the class in the first time, but we keep coming back. So it's all like that. Do I get them? So when they come in, they're going to not stop and say hi. We'll have a chance to just sit down with you. And we're good. And um, so your job, even with your mask, is yell, right? So I would like everybody right now sitting to yell no. One, two, three. No! Good, now I want you to yell kick. One, two, three. Kick! Okay, that's your job, okay? I know you can do it. I know, come in this way, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. You can stop.